the simple practice review. Again, best for small teams, group practice, want to keep it all in one place, hold everyone accountable, especially good for people who are distant, who are online purely, who are operating together as part of a team or as a group in one location. This service helps keep everyone tied together, keeps it all in one place. I think they're doing a pretty good job about it. Their whole message of simplicity is woven into this whole program. You can see that they are trying to make it simple. I do do feel like they're trying to do that, and I think they're succeeding at it. And this site also has a compare feature as well, which is really, really cool. Again, we have simple practice with the most reviews and being nearly the highest rated with intake IQ starting at 49, while this one starts at 29. So, okay, so let's continue on with this. Learn your basics using this checklist to experiment and see what simple practice is all about. So right now I've set up a fake client with the email you can actually email me at if you have any questions about this intake process. Simple practice comes with some consent documents and they should get sent to my email address. So I'm very curious on what these look like. I'll show you what I get, but pretty good. Looks, looks pretty legit. So it, it looks like it'll give me a client portal. And remember me in this case is a fake client, Bob's email. Okay, so let's see what that email looks like. So this is what a client of yours, a patient will see on their end. I'm gonna check that out right here. Let's see. Okay, so this is what the clients will see for their onboarding process. So they get a link in the email and user license agreement. So this does look pretty professional for from the client side of things, in my opinion. Looks like there's an easy section for billing and payments, documents, appointments, request appointment. Okay, okay, let's try to get started. They give a credit card information through Stripe. They do have practice policies and other forms that are so far so good. Down below too, on the client intake, there's a spot for their insurance card, standard intake form about their goals. Okay, so after you've gone through all these different forms, they show the client what they've signed. Okay, so from the client side of things, they are going to do their uploading procedures and then okay so from the client side of things this is your schedule of course you can customize it but at least from the default settings this is sort of what the client sees so so far it's a professional clean intuitive feel i'm just clicking and it feels like everything is lining up properly okay so what we've done is created a test client and gone through that whole process of seeing it what it looks like from the client side of things. Let's keep on going through this checklist. I really liked how the client onboarding process was really smooth. And I'm curious on what this next step will be like. Okay, so now you can have a customized link. The default domain instead of uh, client secure could be your own. But for now, I'm just going to stick with the standard one. So on the left, you have some forms of client communication. This form is to see what clients get when they sign up. Are you giving them your consent, your credit card, your privacy practice, informed consent, et cetera? What kind of documents are you sending them? Okay, so this is really nice. It looks like you can have multiple different options as well on setting up clients from email to 48 hours. You can do text, you can do voice, send a voice reminder. One really useful feature of simple practice is that they come with a bunch of forms that are high quality and that you will probably use in your practice. So they are all here. I think probably the most common ones are going to be probably the soap notes. If you're doing group therapy, this of course is gonna be a big one. Treatment plan and goals note. These are gonna be big ones. Of course, discharge summary. These are things that are pretty, pretty standard. Let's actually see what the SOAP note looks like. Okay, pretty straightforward and simple. Here's the treatment plan and goals note. This one is much longer. 
behavioral health treatment plan, another much longer form. Looks like you can easily take the widget and book this widget into your website. Looks like they have some super bill automatic generation in their billing and services settings. You can customize when to send out monthly statements, when to email clients. Okay, so we have gone through all of the simple practice features from seeing your list of clients, what it looks like on the client side of things. We've gone through and looked a little bit at insurance. We've seen the analytics, with, especially with their numerous reports and how those reports look like. We can see the account activity. And overall, what we can now say about simple practice is that with the insurance capabilities, with the features for multiple team members, with the accountability features, especially being very prominent, with all the clients in one place, with everything in one place, from insurance to billing to payments, it's really meant for a team of people, a small team of people. That's what this is meant for. It's meant for private practice therapists who have a virtual assistant, say, where they can keep track of everything in one spot, maybe a couple of virtual assistants. It could even be for a live therapist with a physical office secretary type of thing. But we also can tell that it's not meant for large companies as well, simply because all the clients are on one spot without any sort of categorization by branch or company. It's assuming that all clients are under one roof, which implies a small team. Now, I've seen my fair share of billing software, and the billing software is pretty minuscule as well. Um, there, it's obviously there, but it's not as fleshed out as some other enterprise corporate billing insurance claims and how that file is organized. It's really, this is a one-stop shop for keeping track of billing, payments, scheduling, client notes, very important. This is, this is a huge feature right here where you can take the client notes, treatment plan, all their forms, keep it with the client. I mean, that's the point of an electronic health record, right? So it's doing that job. It's meant for small teams. It's meant for five people most, I, I'm, I'm feeling. I don't get the sense that it's meant for large organizations because there'd just be too much. Um, it's not quite as complex as that, but it seems like for a small team, everything in place, having the records track with big clients, maintaining payments, keeping everyone honest and accountable. Is, is is good. This That's what it's there for. And it's there for a quick client onboarding experience that is professional, that takes a lot of the paperwork. So you're just ready to hit the ground running. And but most importantly, the clients have the simple link to log in and create their profile and book directly, which is pretty darn nice. A critique, of course, is that it's only for iOS, the mobile app. So that is something we can ding against them. Now let's finally take a look at reviews of Simple Practice and see what people are saying. All right, so very quickly, let's go through for a brief overview through several different review sites about Simple Practice. And then I will dive into some of the comments and explore these reviews more in depth. Okay, so first let's just go through and see a basic overview. So on Git app, we have 4.6 out of five from 2,600 reviews. 2,615 reviews, another 4.6. Trust Radius or Trust Pilot, one of my favorite review sites, 1,523 reviews with a 4.4. This I feel like is most reflective of where they are probably at as well. So pretty solid. I feel like these reviews definitely give me a bit more confidence in um, my overall conviction earlier. It seems like a lot of people are agreeing that this is 4.6. We have thousands of reviews. It seems pretty good. Okay, so let's go through one more review. 89 reviews, four out of five. Okay, that might that might be where it's at too. Now here's an interesting tool that we can compare with on software advice. It looks like the top 15 alternatives to simple practice, two of the top 15 are Clio and Filevine. 
and software advice also gives us an ability to add these to a comparison tool. So Clio. So it does look like Simple Practice has a lot more reviews, although Clio is 0.1 higher, but a thousand less reviews. It looks like they're roughly the same price as well. So right now it, it does appear that Simple Practice is one of the leading industry providers of electronic health software. And this site also has a compare feature as well, which is really, really cool. Again, we have Simple Practice with the most reviews and being nearly the highest rated with Intake IQ starting at 49, while this one starts at 29. So, and as I've stated before, really the whole point of Simple Practice is for a group practice. So you can see up here their, their plan and pricing options. First of all, if you are doing an individual solo practice, you'll probably want team members extra. And the only one that has team members is the plus plan. So that's the biggest difference between the plans is that this comes with everything from the telehealth to treatment planners that are backed by evidence, et cetera. But you can also add clinicians. And this is going to add up. $59 per month per person. So you're looking right away if you're a small business, which is this is the best for. You're looking at when you add in, say, three team members, if you have three other practicing therapists with you, you're looking at $276 a month. If you have a supervisor, which are roles, you can add a practice manager, which can be very useful as well if you're having branches of people. You can get them all on one roof, which is going to be nice. However, it is going to add up. So again, this is for small teams who are bringing in clients and need to keep everything organized who are working together. So that's going to be your best deal on the solo side of things, doing the $99 a month, which allows you to add teammates. And then adding these roles appropriately. Now let's check out the group side of things. And actually upon closer examination, the group practice is the plus practice right here. Everything in essential plus. Okay, so this is the exact same plan. This is the plus plan essentially. Um, yeah, okay. So the group plan is plus. That's what we've been saying this whole time. It just took me a little bit while to figure it out. So you'll be doing the plus plan, um, looking at somewhere between 150 to 350 for a small team. Another feature is it looks like you can easily switch and integrate from all your records. Let's look at that profile. Look at that ability. Okay, so that wraps up the simple practice review. Again, best for small teams, group practice, want to keep it all in one place, hold everyone accountable, especially good for people who are distant, who are online purely, who are operating together as part of a team or as a group in one location. This service helps keep everyone tied together, keeps it all in one place. It's going to be costing probably around 150 to 300 at a base price. Um, and then if you're doing the insurance add-ons, that could be a lot more because if you're, it's, it was 6%, but minimum 750. So we're looking at teams that are bringing in 75,000 men. This is going to be a investment that keeps everyone on the same page. Most importantly, it's industry leading. The reviews are outstanding. You can see how simple and clean it makes things. With the managed insurance plan as well, you can save a lot of time. I, I personally think that would be worth it because you're going to save that much money in hiring a person. It, it looks like simple practice will handle that on the back end. 6% is a lot though. So got to know your margins. Um, all in all though, it's trying to make simple a complicated thing. I think they're doing a pretty good job about it. Their whole message of simplicity is woven into this whole program, you can see that they are trying to make it simple. I do, do feel like they're trying to do that, and I think they're succeeding at it.
Uh, this is going to be the program you go to. It's going to help you import, start fresh, keep it organized, keep everyone on the same page, and they'll even help you out with insurance. So if you're handling a lot of insurance work, man, that could be a lifesaver. I mean, how many hours of paperwork is it for every hour of therapy? Whew. I mean, that's what we're looking right here. This is for a small group of therapists, medical health professionals. This is definitely um, a group, not a, uh, yeah. So anyways, that's what this is about. Small teams, simple practice. All right, have a good one, everyone. Leave a comment with any questions or concerns. All right.